piece of okra with the plantains and the pho. You already know what it is. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Jayla aka Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back slash welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Hopefully you've already seen my video about these DIY butterfly locks. If you haven't already, I'll go ahead and link it up above. But today I'm just showing you very easy ways to maintain your locks as you're wearing them. Literally, super simple. You don't have to do it every day and it's gonna keep your locks looking good and keep your scalp healthy. So if you're interested, go ahead and keep on watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and join all 17,000 of us over here. Okay, we lit. Again, hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you know anytime I'm posting a new video. All right, y'all, in order to maintain your locks really, really easy, there are only three things we really need to do and really need to worry about. The first thing is making sure that our scalp is doing well. The second thing is making sure that our hair is not getting super tangly. And then the third thing, which is really optional, is to touch up your edges, if that's your thing. So let me just go ahead and show y'all real quickly what my scalp has been looking like after two weeks of being in these locks. So with that being said, we need to do something to our scalp first and foremost. I have featured this product in a different video and it is called Braid Magic. It is a soothing spray and it has lots of nice things in it like organic banana juice. Uh, willow bark, menthol, castor oil, jojoba, peppermint, lavender, a whole bunch of different essential oils which should be very soothing and calming for my scalp. So I am going to take it. And I'll just run my fingers down my scalp just to make sure everything is basically getting touched. And we are one step closer to a healthier scalp, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with an oil on my scalp and I'll be using the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. There we go. It's by Miel. It's almost gone because I have been using it for a while. But I'll go ahead and just take this dropper and I kinda Go all down my parts. And once I feel like I've applied enough, I do the same thing. I'm going to take my fingers and really rub those into my parts. And that's basically all I'm going to do to my actual scalp. I would recommend you doing this once a week. I have been really bad at this, so this is my first time doing it since I've installed these locks. But keep up with it if you don't want, you know, your hair to start acting up, your scalp to start acting up. Moving right along, I don't have to worry about my actual hair in this style because, you know, when you do locks, your hair is completely wrapped up. Whereas in braids, you can kind of penetrate your hair. Locks, you can't do that. The rest of the things that we're gonna do are going to be just to improve the aesthetic of our locks. I'm going to take a little bit of mousse and I'm gonna rake it through my locks just to make sure that they're not like super tangled and caught on each other. Now the biggest thing with butterfly locks is that they can kind of have these stray hairs and those stray hairs are what get caught on everything. Like I don't know if y'all can see this. Take some scissors and I'm just going to trim some of that extra hair off of my lock. See like I don't know if y'all can see that. So once you've trimmed to your liking, it should be a lot easier for you to run your fingers through your locks without your hair or without your fingers getting caught on random strands of hair. So if your hair, your fingers are still getting caught, you might need to go back and trim some more. So the last thing that we're going to do is, of course, slick these edges down. I'm using the same edge control that I always use. This is the Edge Fixer Glue by Kiss Colors and Care. So I'm just taking some and applying it to my edges. So once you have done your edges to your liking, go ahead and put your, go ahead and put your scarf on and let it marinate for a little bit. And then we'll come back to y'all with the final look. All right, y'all, it's been a few minutes. Let's go ahead and take off our scarf. y'all this is our hair these are our locks again they're looking pretty good they're not tangled our scalp is doing well and 
we have no complaints okay so i hope that this is super easy for you super simple to maintain your protective styles i highly encourage you if you are someone who likes to wear protective styles either wash your hair in the protective style or don't keep it in too long okay so i'm actually going to be taking my hair out this weekend so two weeks without washing my hair that's good enough for me and again it's just super important for you to maintain your scalp health maintain your hair health so we can't be keeping these styles in for an extra long time without actually washing and cleaning our scalp and our hair okay so that's just my little tidbit but of course you're gonna do what you want to do as you should okay thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed remember to hit that subscribe button also like this video so that youtube can share with other people and i'll see y'all in the next one bye